So here I've already downloaded IntelliJ and written a few lines of code so you can see what it looks like. You can see that it has some built-in tools that help you organize programs and functions. And it does color text highlighting so that you can easily distinguish between types of variables and certain words that Java recognizes. It also helps you remember code syntax and functions with built-in code completion. And we'll be using this application for the rest of this class. To download IntelliJ, you can either search for its download link, or I recommend just clicking on the link provided in the notes below. So here's what the download site looks like as of May 19th, 2016. Again, software changes all the time, so I recommend looking at the text instructions after this node to get the most up-to-date information about downloading IntelliJ. You should see this page with download options for Mac OS X, Windows, and Linux. So make sure you have this Mac OS X version selected. And we'll be downloading the free community version of IntelliJ. So click on this download button. That will take you to this page and your computer will start downloading IntelliJ. This is a pretty big file, so it might take a few minutes depending on how fast your computer is. After this download finishes, click on it to start the installation. After you've clicked, you should see this window pop up with instructions to drag IntelliJ into your Applications folder. This will add it to the applications that your computer can use. And this will take a few seconds. After that's done, click on it to open it up and see how to write Java programs. You might get a warning message saying you've downloaded it from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? And just say yes, open. Next, I'll walk you through the IntelliJ environment and show you how easy it is to create a Hello World program.